Hi, so moving on to the next case, we've got Walid in the hot seat. Um, are you ready, Walid? Yes, ready. Great. So uh, you're presented with a 23-year-old gentleman who's a keen footballer um, and has been having ongoing pain in his right hip for the past two or three years. Uh, this is his plain x-rays. Have a look at them and tell me what your thoughts are. So uh, we've got AP and uh, a, a frog lateral view of... Uh, the right hip, uh, and I see uh, well-maintained uh, joint uh, lines uh, both sides, so uh, uh, no joint space narrowing. Um, uh, I see a well-covered um, acetabulum, so um, no signs of dysplasia. Um, perhaps um, on the femoral side, uh, uh, what's obvious is the uh, cam morphology of the femoral head, whether it's on the AP or the lateral view. I think looking at that lateral view, I would suspect him to have an alpha angle uh, more than uh, 50, more than probably 60 degrees. Uh, there's also some bone formation just lateral to the um, acetabulum there, which sometimes signifies femoral acetabular impingement. But before jumping to any conclusions, um, I'd like to do a, take a full history, do an examination and get further imaging to exclude other causes of hip pain as sometimes femoral stabular impingement could just be an incidental finding uh, on the radiographs. Okay, so um, this is his MRI. Yes, yeah, so I think the MRI confirms uh, what we suspected with the X-ray. So number one, there's no signs of AVN. And I'd also like to look at the report uh, of the MRI and the rest of the scan to look for any maybe osteitis pubis, any tendinopathy, uh, or sometimes even a femoral hernia, exclude all that. And this is an MRI arthrogram. I can see the bump on the femoral head here, signifying a cam lesion. And I can also see extravasation of the a dive through the labrum signifying a labral tear. I, I, I do agree with you. Yeah, it's quite obvious in the MRI. Um, he has been having those ongoing problems for the past two years and he's quite keen to go back to playing football and his level of activity. He is very keen on that. How would you manage him? So uh, we will have to have a, a long conversation about his expectations, particularly uh, return to sports. I want to know what sort of uh, level of football does he play? Is he playing on a, a competitive level or is he just uh, playing for recreation? And uh, what sort of level does he want to go back to? Uh, also, uh, yes. He's semi-professional, um, uh, but he's, he's very keen. So I would definitely give him a trial of physiotherapy first, uh, prior to thinking of any operative intervention. Um, and um, we have evidence that physiotherapy does improve uh, the pain and return to sports in, in uh, these patients. Uh, uh, but this will be have to do, done under care of a specialist uh, physiotherapy, which has experience in these types of conditions. If physiotherapy fails to improve his symptoms, would you offer him a hip arthroscopy? Yes, if, if there's no improvement from the physiotherapy or he had some improvement and then symptoms recurred, at that point I will offer him a hip arthroscopy. My aim in the hip arthroscopy would be uh, to repair or debride that labrum uh, and uh, to uh, do a, uh, a cam resection on the uh, femoral head. Are you aware of any evidence to support uh, the success of hip arthroscopy in those young patients? Yes, so there's two um, uh, randomized uh, uh, trials in the UK. Uh, there is the FATE trial, which uh, compared uh, physiotherapy uh, to hip arthroscopy, the results of which were quite promising that both groups did improve, but the improvement with hip arthroscopy was higher than the improvement with hip uh, with physiotherapy. There's also the UK fashion trial, uh, which I believe is still ongoing. And so far the results have also been similar to the uh, FATE trial. And uh, there were some crossover between cases, meaning that some patients which try, uh, uh, tried physiotherapy ended up um, not satisfied and requiring hip arthroscopy. And some patients after improvement with physiotherapy um, had a further decline and went back to having hip arthroscopy. 
and uh, they used the HIP outcome score as the main outcome, which did show significant improvement from the preoperative level. Okay. I think there's strong evidence to support HIP arthroscopy. Yep. Um, time's up. Thank so, you. how do you think, Ahmed, how do you think Walid has uh, done? Um, I think he deserves a, 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 a seven, and I'll be um, even tempted to give him an eight. So, femoral stubble impingement is a relatively uh, sort of vague area for the non hip surgeons. So, he was very confident in interpreting the x rays, yet not too confident to jump into conclusions. Um, he's very familiar with MR arthrogram, uh, which is good. Most, uh, most people might have struggled with interpretation of the MR arthrogram of the hip. Um, he's aware of evidence uh, to support the, um, the, uh, the hip arthroscopy, which again, um, most of the people won't be uh, up to date with the papers and that sort of uh, subspecialist uh, uh, topic. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, a solid seven and maybe an eight. I do agree. He's, uh, he seems to know the topic very well um, and he approached it logically, uh, knowing the different treatment options. Um, he's got evidence to support uh, and, and up-to-date evidence to support uh, the treatment he's going to offer to his patient. He was very keen to know I think uh, mm -hmm. I think you're cutting up again. I think what? Yeah, you're back. Are you back? Yep. Um, I was saying that you, you were very keen to know what the level of activity of the patient is um, and to match his expectations when you're offering him a treatment and that's the right thing to do. I think the, the, the tricky bit also was, was to try not to jump to a conclusion that uh, this is FAI. I mean, I, I had no, uh, no idea at that point whether this was going to be a case of femoral staver impingement or could even ended up being a case of a vascular necrosis uh, of the uh, femoral head. Uh, you see a 23 year old and hip x-ray. Um, what, what came to my mind is, is this dysplasia? Is this FAI? Is this a, um, is this a vascular necrosis? Maybe these are, there's definitely much more uh, 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 other things that it could be, but these were the first three on top of my head. So I was trying to not jump to conclusions. I don't know if I, if that helped or if that made me sound a bit hesitant at the beginning. No, I, I think absolutely it helped. Uh, it, it means that you're a safe person who considers all the different options um, and you don't just jump to a conclusion to one diagnosis and stick to it. Um, uh, you have a, a two or three differential diagnoses in mind and then you work your, your way through cautiously. Uh, that's, that's, that's sound and safe, in my opinion. Yeah, I think, I think it helped and I think as a general advice, if you're not sure and you will be, you'll be in that situation when you're not sure about the x-ray and what exactly the examiner is getting at, in which case you have to avoid using um, some terms. So never use obviously, the obvious deformity or obviously because sometimes you might be missing something else which is rather the topic of the viva. When you say obviously, and it's another default, or another pathology, it will look really bad. So if you don't know what, what exactly the x-ray is showing, take a uh, take few seconds to think and, uh, and give yourself differential diagnosis, that's absolutely fine. And when he moves on to the next slide, you will sort of figure out uh, what is he intending to, which route is he going down to, and you'll be able to pick up. So yeah, I, th I think, you know, I think you weren't hesitant. I think it was uh, more of uh, uh, sort of uh, keeping all the uh, options open. Yeah. It's referring to, um, it compares the physiotherapy and the arthroscopic treatment for femoral acetabular impingement. And it's not surprising to see that uh, patients improved in both groups, but the improvement was much greater um, in the arthroscopic group, uh, and that was in terms of the hip outcome uh, scores. There's also the fashion trial that's currently being done in the UK, and it compares non-operative treatment, or actually the best uh, non-operative treatment, whether it's uh, uh, an injection, whether it's physiotherapy, 
to um, arthroscopic surgery for the femoral acetabular impingement. Another thing you can refer to is the non orthoplasty joint registry, uh, which was established in 2012. And it gives results about the procedures, outcomes about the procedures, uh, whether it's uh, arthroscopic surgery or hip osteotomies, anything other than the arthroplasty. And the outcomes are uh, reported by patient uh, reported outcome scores, the PROMs. Okay, that's uh, very good. Thank you.